Ted Cruz went on The View on ABC. And instead of showing you a bunch of moments from it, because it's just Ted Cruz saying Ted Cruz stuff and them trying to challenge him the best they can, I just want to show you one that is probably one of the most humiliating things that could possibly be witnessed by the viewers. And we get to be the viewers in the situation. And Ted Cruz gets to be the one getting humiliated. As you're all aware, uh, whenever he was on the debate stage with Donald Trump in the Republican primary, 2015, 2016, he was very strong and brave against Donald Trump, right? He was very critical of Donald Trump. And you'll see what I mean in a second here. I'm sure you've already heard of this, but we'll get reminded um, from the view. And also Trump was pretty aggressive towards him alluding to the fact uh, or calling in, I think if I don't, if I do remember correct, not the explicit word, but in a post he made that was very clearly saying Ted Cruz's wife was not good looking, was ugly, and also accusing Ted Cruz's dad of possibly being involved in the JFK assassination. Ted Cruz, when that happened, was very brave, was very aggressive towards Trump and said, you don't mess with my family and you're a horrible pathological liar. And then not too long after that, Trump won, won the nomination and Ted Cruz bowed his head and has been licking the boots of Trump ever since. Look at this, Ted Cruz just being absolutely humiliated on national television. Very vocal and very critical of you, but I'm sorry that this has happened uh, All good. in our house. Um, you and I have been in politics a long time. I remember meeting you when you were first running yep. in Miami. You were a Bush Republican back then, so was I. And we've seen candidates that have said a lot of things about each other. But Donald Trump went incredibly personal when it came to you. He suggested your father may have been involved in Kennedy's assassination. <laughs> yeah. And he called your wife Heidi ugly. Who, by the way, is very pretty. This is what you said. Let me get through the question. This is what you said about him back in 2016 during the campaign. Let's take a look. I'm going to tell you what I really think of Donald Trump. This man is a pathological liar. He doesn't know the difference between truth and lies. He lies practically every word that comes out of his mouth. The man is utterly amoral. It, morality does not exist for him. So I have to ask you, because, you know, I'm, I'm married to a Cuban man. Mm -hmm. I frankly don't know how you get over your wife being called ugly. Mm -hmm. I don't know how you get over those kind of calumnies against your father. <laughs> but you obviously have gotten over it. Today you sing a very different tune. So tell us, were you lying then or are you lying now? Yeah, that's, that's a loaded question there. Mm -hmm. Look, it's an, it's an, I think a lot of people have the same yeah. question. It's a very different Ted Cruz that we're seeing. <laughs> we are. I mean, would you uh, not? I agree that that's very different Ted Cruz than, no, than I today's what Ted Cruz? I, what I would say is this. In 2016, we had a primary where Donald Trump and I beat the living crap out of each other. I'll tell you, Heidi laughed when he said that. My father laughed. By the way, my dad didn't just kill Kennedy. He's got Jimmy Hoffa buried in the backyard. <laughs> it was idiotic. And we went after each other, and at the end of the day, he won. And I had a decision to make in November of 2016. He'd been elected president. And I got a responsibility to represent 30 million Texans. I could have decided my feelings are hurt, I'm going to take the ball and go home and not do my job. But if I was prepared to do that, I better be prepared to resign from my job because I have a responsibility. So what I did is I... Is I... Okay, you get the point. Um, so my dignity was less important than my political, uh, you know, future. Yeah, we know. So it's crazy. You're going to let someone call your wife ugly, call your dad a potential assassin, and then go, eh, whatever. You're the best, dude. And then support him. And we see that iconic photo of Ted Cruz on the phone with a Trump sign behind him calling voters and asking them to vote for Trump. Very, very bizarre and uh, a great example of how when you care more about your um, political ambitions or what is beneficial to you in the moment than your principles, then your um, morals and just your dignity, you end up looking like a fool. You have to have some level of character to stand up to this type of reality. But instead, he just went along with what was ever 
uh, whatever was going to be most politically advantageous in that moment. And for him, it probably was to be pro-Trump so that the Trump mob doesn't go after him so he can be somewhat popular among the base. But at what cost? And to me, he just exchanged his dignity for the love and admiration of the MAGA movement. And so I think people need to look at that and learn the lesson of, do you really, what does it all matter? You're so successful, you're so uh, famous, and you're still getting to be a senator because the Republican base likes you, but does that really matter if you publicly allowed your wife to get attacked like that and your father and did nothing? Actually, the opposite. You did a big public show of supporting the, that man. What did all matter at that point, you know? Anyways, Ted Cruz, yikes.